really isn't good this week, so what I'm going to do instead is do some repairs. We're not quite set up a green drive, so uh, I'm going to have to do my repairs in my garage today. Doesn't matter, got all the equipment, so let's get cracking. So first thing I'm going to do is remove a grip. So what I'm going to need is just a rubber clamp, the club itself, and some Swarfiga. So the rubber clamp just goes around the shaft. The clamp is just there to protect the shaft from any damage. Make sure it's nice and secure. The club's not gonna move. So this method of removing the grip is probably the most simple of all ways to remove a grip. So all we need is some Swafiga. And then we're just gonna put an even layer all over the grip. So figure is just gonna act as a, a lubricant. So once there's an even layer on there, what we need to do is have a towel handy. Start by pulling the grip back and folding it over so there's a bit of a lip. Start by using your hands and just pull the grip slowly over. This works really well with rubber grips that aren't corded but if you've got a corded grip you'll have to use a different method to remove this grip. So once it starts getting a bit tougher to do, get the towel over it, wrap it round, and then use a little bit more force to pull it out. So we've got the grip off. All we need to do is get it the right way around. Screwdriver will do the trick. I'm just gonna pop it in the clamp Grip, put it on the screwdriver, and do the reverse. Of course, be very careful. It's safer to use something like a piece of dowel. Once you get it to this point, it's nice and easy. Just grab it at the end. where the towel comes in handy. And there's your grip. One save grip. One essential piece of equipment, a hook blade. Because if you can't save the grip, you're just gonna have to cut it off. If you haven't got the equipment to save the grip, then you're gonna have to cut it off. What I've got is a hook blade here. The hook blade is the best tool to cut off the grip. All you have to do is place the hook blade at the base of the grip, push down, make sure you cut away from your body. Just like that. So if you've got a graphite shaft, you're going to have to be a bit more careful. Instead of using a hook blade, we're just going to use a flat Stanley blade. So as long as it's sharp, this job will be very easy. So let's first pull the grip away from the bottom of the shaft, and just make a little cut, and then that slightly score from the base of the grip right to the butt end of the club. So we're not trying to cut all the way through here, because if we go too deep, we're going to damage the shaft and just wreck the club. So it's enough to allow us to just tear the grip straight off the club. So you can see it's slightly scored but it's not all the way through. It's partially through the grip. I'm just going to be able to just tear that all the way up. Just need a little bit more strength here and grip hold of it. 
you can see it's just tearing up that score mark. So if you look at the grip tape, I've not even cut through it. The next thing we've got to do is make sure that the club is prepped ready to get the new grip on. So this involves first removing all the grip tape. If you think that the grip tape looks good and you choose to leave it on and then add another layer of tape, you're just going to make the grip thicker and change the profile of the grip. So get rid of all the tape. I got these clubs because the person who's, uh, whose clubs they are got them re-gripped and they are the wrong grips. But also, each club has a different amount of layers of tape which is affecting the thickness of a grip and the feel that you'll get. Make sure you know who you go into when you get your clubs re-gripped. It's ideal to have someone that's reliable does the job to a good standard every time. So that's all the tape come on. So the tape I've got is this three quarter inch tape. So when applying this to the club, you'll have to put it on a, in a spiral fashion. Just to make sure you get the full coverage and it allows the grip to adhere to it. So where you start your tape, I'll just line up the grip with about an eighth of an inch from the top of the grip because it's going to stop there, it's not going to go all the way to the, to the top of the grip. Just measure it with my thumb, hold it there, get the tape, and then just spiral it around. So I'll try and get about a, about a 40 degree angle. Get it as close as you can, so you can see, it's as close as I can get it, keeping it nice and tight to the shaft, so there's no air bubbles and there's no, no ripples in the grip tape. Spiral it around, leave about two inches at the top, an inch and a half. Take one layer of the double sided tape off, wrap it around and seal the top. So this, by sealing the top, it's going to stop any fluids from entering the shaft and rusting it later on when people are playing with them. So that's one done. So just another 12 to go. tape's ready, all that's left to do is to put the grip on. So to do this we need some solvent. What I'm using is white spirits. I don't like using the stuff but it's the best thing for the job and at the moment I don't have anything that's non-toxic so when using it make sure it's well ventilated and you use the right protective equipment. Saying that this is not stuff you want to breathe in and not stuff you want to get in your eyes. So I'm just going to put this on for now. Just going to take the mask off for a second. I'm talking to you. So one important thing when re-gripping is just to get the alignment right. So most grips will be designed with a certain pattern on them. This is mainly to aid alignment. So when we're putting these grips on, it's essential we line the grip up with the club head. Okay, let's get it on. So all I'm going to do is use the bottle that the White Spirits comes in. Easiest thing to do, put the grip straight in the, in the White Spirits. So this gets an even coverage all the way over. And then just slide the grip on. I push it into the ground just to make sure the shaft has reached right to the end of the grip. And then just align it 
how you see fit. So that's looking pretty good. I do notice that with graphite shafts they're a bit thicker at the butt end so to allow the grip to get on a bit easier I've just put a bit of white spirits down the grip as well as putting white spirits on the grip tape itself so it just made it a little bit easier just to put the, the grip on in the end. So what I've done I've just put the grips pointing down I'm going to leave them like that overnight. That's just going to allow any excess white spirits just to drip out and then evaporate. They're looking pretty good and they'll be ready to be used in about three hours. So I hope this helped if you want to regrip yourself or save the grips yourself and see you later.